Hello, welcome to Training Mug's Java Coding Challenges series. In this session, we'll discuss about one more coding challenge that is printing Fibonacci series from 1 to 1000. So let's understand the logic. So what is a Fibonacci series? The Fibonacci series is a series of numbers that starts with 0, 1 and then the next number is the sum of the previous two numbers. So the series starts with 0, then 1, then 0 plus 1 is going to be 1, then 1 plus 1 is going to be 2 and 2 plus 1 is going to be 3 and 3 plus 2 is going to be 5 and 5 plus 3 is going to be 8 and so on. This is what the Fibonacci series. Let's look at the logic ones. So the idea here is we take the three variables like uh, a initialized to 0, b initialized to 0, sum initialized to 1 and then we need to assign b to a, sum to b and then sum we need to calculate by adding a plus b and then we need to print a not sum uh, and then here we are going to iterate this loop till b less than or equal to 1000. So I'm going to clearly explain this why we have uh, taken this logic logic to print a not to print sum uh, in my, uh, my code while I'm writing it in Eclipse. So this is what the code logic to uh, uh, print the Fibonacci series till the range of 1000. So let me open my Eclipse. So I open my Eclipse under my project. Now I'm going to create a new Java class. So right click on my package. I'm selecting a new Java class. Here I'm naming this class as uh, Fibonacci series. You can give any name and then I'm selecting my main method. Click on finish. So as per our logic, now I'm going to take three variables. The first variable I'm taking it as A and then initializing with zero. And then second variable I'm initializing it to uh, zero. And then the third variable sum I'm initializing it to one. And then according to our logic, so we need to run our loop while b less than or equal to 1000. So because we want to print the Fibonacci series range to 1000. Now the idea is we need to assign the b value to a and the sum value to be b. And we need to assign a plus b to sum. We need to perform the addition. So we need to shift the numbers to the previous numbers and then finally we need to add both a and then b to the sum and then here we need to print the value of a and then because a lot of series is going to come so we're going to separate it with a separator and then here instead of using println we are going to print the whole series within the line so we are going to use system.out.print this is what our logic is all about so let me save this and then click on run so once you run, now it is going to give you the complete Fibonacci series from 0, 1, 1, 2 till less than 1000. So how it is going to work is first A will be initialized to 0, then B will be initialized to 0 and sum we are initializing it to 1. And here we are checking the condition B less than or equal to 1000. So first B value is 0, then the condition is going to be true. So it will enter. Now then the idea is we need to print from 0, 1, 1 2 so what we are doing is yes we are assigning b value to a a is already 0 but again b value is assigned to a so now a value again will become 0 and then some value was 1 and then the b value now will become 1 and then when you're using sum is equal to a plus b and then it is going to be 0 plus 1 and then here we are printing a now what happens a value was 0 so it now prints 0 now then b value was 1 now 1 less than or equal to 1000 this is true now b value we are assigning it to a now a value will become 1 so now b value will become 1 again so sum now will become 2 but here we are not printing sum we are printing a so if you print sum now it will skip 1 but it will start printing 2 so that's a way but finally the sum value will be assigned to b so we are just checking whether b value is less than or equal to 1000 so it's a very simple or tricky logic and you can write n number of logics to uh, print the Fibonacci series and then this could be the simplest one and in some questions they may ask you to print the Fibonacci series based on count or example suppose here I'm taking one more program Fibonacci series uh, with count 
So when you say with count, uh, they did not ask you to print within the range. Example here, if you take it a thousand, this is what the range comes. And if they ask you to print for 10,000, then probably this Fibonacci series will print till 10,000 10, range. But Fibonacci series with count means, suppose if they ask you to print the Fibonacci series with count 10, then the count will be 0, 1, 2, uh, the count is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that the 10 count will become 34. So if they ask you to print the Fibonacci series for count 10, the Fibonacci series will come till 34. Or if it is 15, then 5 more will be added. Like that, we need to print on count. So to write the logic for this, so what I'm doing is I'm now commenting out this. So now let me um, create a variable to count to count. So count I'm re initializing it to one. And again, I need two variables. One is a is zero and then second b is equal to. Now here I'm directly taking it one. I'll tell you why I'm taking it uh, one. Now directly I'm just printing uh, the a plus b I'm just calculating. Now here within the same line, now first I'm going to print a comma b with a separator comma plus b. Now a and then b will be printed. So if you if you run this program now, now a and then b value will be printed. So the count is already two now. Now what I need to do because the count is now the 10. So now what I have to do is now I have to run my while loop to count till eight because two count is already done. So now I'm going to write it while count is less than or equal to eight. Then I'm going to run this loop. Now the idea is what? Because I already calculated sum, now zero plus one, and next I, next uh, number could be one. So I need to print sum here itself. So what I do is, now again, I'll take system.out.print, and then here, instead of printing A or B, here I'm going to print sum, because B is already there. So what I'm doing is, I'm concatenating the space before this. So every time you're printing a number, now comma will be, appended as a prefix. So now here what we need to do and after that we need to assign B, B to A and then as well as uh, some value to B and then here we need to increment our count variable every time so that count will be incremented. So this is what our logic is going to be. So if you run it now, okay, now we need to assign the sum value again to A plus B otherwise the sum value is going to be 1 all the time so that's why it is printing only 1 here so let me run the program so once you run it now you see first 0 and then 1 was printing by this line and then we are running the count till 8 because 2 is already done then we already calculated sum here so we are printing it here here or you can calculate sum here also uh, if you want to print uh, and then we are assigning b to a and then sum to b and then sum is equal to a plus b and then we are iterating the count so this is what the count so if they ask you to print the count value 10 or uh, 15 then 2 is already done so what we do we run it for the 13 times so when you run it so it will print your fibonacci series with a count so and make sure when they ask you to print it for 1000, so you may see some kind of uh, negative values will come. So if you look into this, this is what the count. But here if you look at then some of the negative values will come. Why? Because the integer sum value or the variable exceeds the range of int. When it exceeds the range of int, it goes to the negative value. So that's the reason when they ask you to print uh, thousand a uh, thousand times or thousand count make sure you take uh, this as a long variable not as a int variable so that is what printing printing the fibonacci series